see if that's a good spot. All right, I'm sitting at my desk again, so <clears throat> I'm going to have to move the camera up high. I just didn't want to hide from people today like I hid last night. <laughs> uh, very funny. <clears throat> so let's see. Yep, it's uh, going. It's, get, it's getting there. You get to see my side. <laughs> All right. So it's Saturday afternoon. I thought for sure I would have been here Saturday morning, but weird, weird thing happened. Not really weird, but it kind of it kind of threw me off my game. <clears throat> I'll share that in just a second. I'm going to move this stuff over because I have the paste that I want to use already over here. And I have a hot glue gun going because, yeah, Donna's bored at home alone. I probably could fold laundry, but I'm not going to. I probably could do a lot of things, but I'm not going to. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to mess around with chalk. And it might be here for a while, so people can come and go as they please. But I have a, this really fun project that I'm working on. My hair is still wet. Ah! <laughs> and so I realized that why, why would I just do this work and not share it with everybody? So you can see my little bit of a mess back there. That's, that's fine. I do have to have my stuff, you know, stored. It can't always be pretty and beautiful. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so I probably should like turn that a little bit, but I'm not going to because it's in a good spot for everything else. I'm just doing the share here into the group, <clears throat> my VIP group, actually. And now I'm going to share it to my, not my page. I'm on my page, right? Am I on my page? Yes, I'm on my page. It's like the fear of that, that I'm not going to be on my page and I'm going to be in the wrong spot doing this live. It, it's happened before. It has happened. It has definitely happened before. We're, okay, share. There's where I want to share it. Onto my regular, my regular timeline. Regular. Or as my mother-in-law likes to say, regula. <laughs> my mother pronounces regula like arugula almost. Yes, that's what she does. Okay, so hello, here I am. <clears throat> and I am just going to be messing around with two transfers, two or three transfers that I've combined. But all three of them are available in the store. So that kind of works out well. I'm just looking at the screen to see that I have, <laughs> to see that you can actually see me because I didn't set this up ahead of time. Um, <clears throat> I have here my board. I have my paste and my hot glue gun, ready to go. I have a cup of coffee that has seen better mornings. Here's my cup of coffee. Can you read what that says? It says, mm -hmm. I don't know, Margo. I want the first person to figure out what that's from to let me know. I have a matching mug that goes with it. I'm not going to tell you what the matching mug says, but this one says, I don't know, Margo. And you have to read it like that. What movie is it? <laughs> I wish I had a prize to give, but I'm not allowed to give prizes on my public page. Oh, well, sorry. You get the, um, the honor of being the winner of knowing what movie that is. Know that I watch way too many movies, way too many movies, way too many TVs, TV. Oh my gosh. Way too much TV. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm here. <clears throat> I fix my little chair here, make myself all kinds of comfortable because I don't know how long this is going to take. Like I said, I have nothing going on. I have nobody to feed or take care of. I have um, no phone calls to make. I could be doing some business stuff, but I guess this is considered business stuff. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. This this will be businessy. All right, this is what I can do. I will share my two um, workshops that are coming up. I actually have three workshops that are coming up. Okay, so the first one is May 4th, which is already next week, and we have plenty of room. Um, in this one, we're going to be working on a small board and base, five and a half by seven and a half. And I like to do this particular board for first time chalkers. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's easy, but you get a really nice project when you're done. And it's the kind of surface that if you mess it up because it's your first time, we can just wash it off and redo it. We also decorate the board and base. And this one has the, um, I'm not adulting today. Tomorrow's not looking good either on one side. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to put a bottle of wine and it says wine, not on it. So that's kind of cute. 
So that's uh, Saturday, May 4th. Yeah, May 4th at Trackside Grill on Main Street. And Trackside was taken over by um, or bought by um, a really, really nice person. I think it's both her and her husband. And if it's not CJ, I'm sorry. Um, but they are so fun. This is going to be a fun, fun, fun workshop because they're fun and the atmosphere there is so fun. It's 35 bucks. We're going to be doing magnets as well. So we have our magnets and we have, um, whoops, and we have the board and base double side that we're going to do. Love to bring magnets because that's a great place to practice as well. And our new, um, hi Franny, thank you for stopping by. Our new uh, little um, chips that I use are now made out of boutique board. So if you mess up those, we can wash them off as well. So that's where we practice using the squeegee. We practice learning how to um, put the, the transfer on it, how to fuzz it, how to put it on there, how to spread this paste and all that stuff. And again, if you make, why am I jammed up there? Okay, it's skipping a little. I hope it's good on your end. Okay. Um, and if you mess up, we can wash it off and, and do it again, which is which is really kind of cool. Um, I was saying something before I got distracted by my still face. I'm looking at my hair. My hair has a lot of product in it because this is what the hair looks like. It's kind of like, um, ever watch Harry Potter? If you've ever watched Harry Potter, I kind of sometimes resemble Bellatrix in the morning with the hair kind of all over, but I didn't want to use a straightener on it. Sometimes the hair needs a, a little bit of a break. So this is what you're getting, like my, my fuzzy hair. Okay, um, so that's... Workshop number one. Workshop number two is at the newly renovated Jake's Elk Lake Tavern. So I believe that most of the reno, reno is going to be done, I think she said. Tammy said. Tammy's amazing. She's really nice, and she's helping me to put this together. And we're doing kind of almost the same thing here. Um, this one. Oh, that's supposed to have a different jar bottle. Okay, this is the old. This is the old. Um, the trackside grill is the old flyer. We changed the trackside grill. We're not doing the wine knot. We are doing, I have, I have mixed drinks about these feelings. We're doing that one instead. It's like a little, like a little martini glass. Where is it? Um, I think, I think I can get it here. Let's see. Way back here in my tub of stuff that I've done. Yes, yes, I have one. I do. I haven't done it on the air yet, but it's so, so, so much fun. Ah. Is it loading better now? Franny, I'll try, I'll, I'm going to ask you if it's loading better now. I'm hoping that it is, okay? I'm hoping that it is. I, I didn't, I don't remember if I took it off Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi was giving me such a hard time with this particular um, phone. I'm going to have to check it. When I turn the camera down, I'll check it and see. If it is, in fact, on Wi-Fi and it's working this well, then that is really, really good. Anyway, so this is so fun. It says, I have mixed drinks about feelings. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Anyway, so this is the one we're doing at Trackside. All right, so we're doing the wine knot here at Jake's Elk Lake Tavern. This is on May 11th, the following Saturday. It also is $35. This one includes a light, uh, light refreshments. Trackside, they're having... Um, a $12 dinner special. It's their smoking Saturday with smoking pulled pork and a salad bar and a drink and it's BYOB. So that's super fun. Here is um, a light refreshment. It's in the afternoon. It's from three to five on May 11th. Great for Mother's Day. If you need a little funny gift, fun gift, not funny, fun gift for your mother, your aunt, your grandma, whatever, if they drink wine, if they don't act their age. Um, that would be me. I occasionally drink wine and I never act my age. So there's that. <laughs> um, all clear now. Okay. Yeah. I, I am not convinced lately, Franny. I am not convinced that it's, that it's our Wi-Fi, unless you're having trouble on other things because, um, myself, now you just said Jessica in, in Crafty Chalkers, um, Clarissa, everybody was saying that they're having a problem with their, with their streaming. And so I'm convinced that it's Facebook. I'm convinced that the great Oz of Facebook um, one, Mr. Mark Zuckerberg. I know I blame a lot of stuff on Mark. <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you. You're a billionaire. You can handle it. <laughs> and, and you're a billionaire because of us. So give us good streaming. Then again, if, if like the gods of Facebook, I don't believe that, but if the gods of Facebook are listening, I might be like thrown in Facebook jail because I'm disrespecting the great Oz of Mark Zuckerberg. All right, I'm going to put that over there. All right. Um, so let's see. What did you say? Oh, guava. Guava is, 
Why'd you just say guava? Is that because that's what's in my in my my drink? My 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 drink. That's not a martini glass. What kind of glass is that? That's a margarita glass, isn't it? I don't think that you put stirs and uh I don't think you put stir. Maybe it's a generic thing. I don't remember putting stirs and oranges in a margarita, but you don't really do that to a martini either. You can tell that I'm not a mixed drink drinker. I am a wine drinker. Yes, on the sign. I just I just figured out what you're saying. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera down and I'm gonna show you this like idea that I've had and um, so far it's working well. And um, hopefully in the end we'll have a nice project. I'm gonna turn this down so if you get nauseous, look away for a second. I have to turn me upside down and then face the camera down. <clears throat> This just needs to be adjusted so that we have the right angle with which I am working. And I think that that looks pretty good. Um, I don't know how I can. Okay, look at that. I am on Wi-Fi. So if this is working now, oh my gosh, you don't know the hell I went through <laughs> this past week. I went through, it was crazy. I had the cable guy here. I was on the phone with AT&T, my, my phone. They were saying it's my phone. The internet people said it was my phone. The phone people said it was the internet. And both of them together said, whatever, uh, whatever the problem is, it's not us. I sent a Facebook message to Facebook and guess what? They called me back. They called me on the phone. Oh, I shouldn't have left this here. They called me on the phone. Let me pull this off. All right. There's a reason I'm pulling that off because I have to do something else first. So yeah, it's been a fun week. Wow. I got my new AT&T phone in the mail today because this one that I have is under warranty and I got the Galaxy S9 because they said the camera was so good. And look, it gives a really nice picture here. It really, really does. Um, I'm going to put the light on here though, because I think that that shines it even better. I didn't realize that there was a light on my phone to do that. <laughs> they both says my, story. yes, you know, what happened was we were, oh, it's just such a long, annoying story, but the, the, to sum it up, we had an internet provider years ago when my boys were young and still living at home and we kept surpassing our bandwidth allotment. So we live in Podunk nowhere and they still have bandwidth allotment. Okay. Where we live. And this was a while ago, seven years ago, maybe six years ago. But the internet people that we got bumped to because our internet was from cable. Cable said, you keep going over bandwidth, we're going to bump you off. So we went to this other uh, internet provider and um, they gave us a business account, which worked well for a, a long while. And then about two years ago, we started noticing, wow, the kids would come home on break and everything and, and our internet would go so slow and it was crazy. So we did the research and it ended up that our cable company now has some crazy internet access that they offer internet speeds. And it would have been, it's like almost a hundred dollars cheaper every month. Can you imagine? It's like $80 cheaper to get much better internet, not have to deal with a second bill and get better HD cable and TiVo as well. And we're saving over $80 a month. How crazy is that? So our um, internet is 100 Mbps and eight and eight upload, which is insanely fast. Um, so we and we just had this done like six, seven weeks ago. So we were convinced that it was not um, our internet, but we had them come out anyway. And the guy was like, I have no idea what's going on. So that he was supposed to send that to his uh, supervisor to figure it out. So I'm hoping that Facebook called me on the phone and had this conversation or left a message basically saying, um, we can't help you. All right. Let's stop with my internet babbling and be happy that it's working now. These square pieces of wood I have had in my possession for quite a long time. About nine years ago, I used to have a blog. Okay. When blogs were kind of like at their peak, I had a blog and I went to a blogging conference and at the end of the conference, they were taking the center pieces, pieces of wood, and they were just going to throw them away. And I was like, what? So I took them and they've been sitting in my house since forever. And I didn't know what I was going to do with them. And so I decided um, just recently I stained them, sanded them, and they actually are kind of useful. So this is one that I did that I am absolutely in love with. And I love the way it came out but I don't like that it's a raw edge. So I bought some wood and I was gonna put some wood on it to give it a frame on top, which I still might do. 
um, probably not on this one, maybe because I'm going to cover the word tractor, but um, that still might be an option. I have about 30 of these, so I decided to see if there's something that I could do that does not um, require um, me to, one, need, a, need and or use a saw and is not going to require more money for me to lay out with um, for, for wood more time um, I, I don't even know just just it just seemed like such an inconvenience to have to figure out how to do this wood thing so I was looking through my box of stuff and I came across this um, I came across this rope that I had okay and so it's um, a thicker hemp rope all right I'm doing some of the invites even though I'm sure that everybody else is um, is just busy because it is um, it is the weekend all right so I think I'm kind of done with these invites okay I put this out there too. If you don't want to receive invites when I do my lives, please, please, please just let me know. Facebook responds great when I invite people, when people come and comment, and if you give me a thumbs up and a heart, both on the little, the regular spot where you can click like, and then underneath the video on your laptop, or I think it's still on the phone too, there's a little hearts and, and thumbs up. So those work really well as well. If you are not a designer and you're so inclined to share my video, that would be awesome. And now I'm done with that. All right. So I took this piece of wood and I have this thick hemp and I'm putting it around and I think that it looks so, so cool. So I'm just going to show you what I did. So I have the edge here, all right? And I did this on the flip side of the wood. This is the front side, but this front side was really messed up. I didn't like the way that one looked. Okay, so I have this edge and I have my, I'm going to do it this way because I want the yucky side to face the back. And I have my handy dandy hot glue gun and I just put, I'm hoping that you guys, can, you can see where I am with that. And I'm just going to make sure that there's glue in there. I have my eyes on this really cool cordless Um, cordless, what is this called? Cordless glue gun. So we only go halfway across because, you know, glue gun tends to dry rather quickly. And so I just put that on there. Oops, laying it down and I press it up because I've been doing so much chalking the past six months. I haven't really done a lot of crafting and that makes me sad because I like, it's a, fin a nice touch, right? A very nice touch. Yes. They were really nice pieces. They were just plain old uh, wood. Plain old plywood when I had it. But now I just want to press this down. It already started cooling off a little bit. Okay. You have to work kind of fast with a glue gun. I do have E3 600 or 6000, whatever it is. But that stuff is like so super powerful. I don't really know that it's necessary for me to use the E3. 6,000. If you've never used E6000 and you, if you're a crafter, you might know about it, but if you've never used it, it is like, it smells awful because it's so super toxic and super strong. All right. So I just put that across there, but E6000, uh, it will glue anything. I made t-shirts last weekend. I haven't done it in months. Right? You know, it takes over everything. And, and I feel like I love doing all this other crafty stuff. And I am actually working on a new blog, a new website that I'm going to have. And um, I'm going to be chronicling my husband and I on uh, this crazy adventure of ours of redoing our home. Um, we have a lot of kids. We had them all at once. And it feels like um, we have not had any money to, to spend on fixing our home. Chalkator is saving that, is enabling that a little bit. You know, the, the business is still new. At this point, I'm happy that the business is going so well that it's more than paying for itself. All right. So because of that, I feel confident to stick with this company and to stick with um, build, continuing to build a team because my team is amazing. And, <clears throat> and I love my team. They are the nicest girls 
women. I shouldn't call them girls. It's force of habit. Okay, so you see, it sits right on the edge and it fits perfectly on this wood. You just press it down. Yeah, it is. The, the, um, the, the glue gun works so much better. That other is really for plastic that I need to stick together, wood, um, that, that kind of thing. Um, I really use it uh, mostly for plastics. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, it's really a good, strong adhesive. My, my glue stick is almost at the end, and I want to stick another one in there in mid, mid work, so that's why I'm spreading it out like that. All right, lay this down. Yeah. And so the other night, <clears throat> I was sharing some of the new transfers that I got, oops, that I got in the mail. And one of the transfers was the four individual backgrounds, all right? And one of the backgrounds, oh, look, I don't think that's sticking on there. I want to put a little bit more on there. Oops. Oh, it is. I just can't see it. <clears throat> one of the backgrounds was these little, were, were these little stars. And I literally just picked up this piece of wood just for the heck of it, just to see what it was going to look like because I often do that during my lives I often just I'm like let's wing it Let, let's see what this will do let's see what this will do okay I'm not liking that corner so I'm going to have to have something to put on the corner there I'm not sure what it's another thing I haven't really done lately with my chalking I usually embellish I usually use flowers so I met a lovely lovely woman at one of the fairs I was doing, and she makes these beautiful flowers using a Cricut. Now, I don't have a Cricut. People say that I should have a Cricut because I'm a crafter. I never even heard of a Cricut until I started doing chalk couture. How crazy is that? I felt like I was living in the, the crafting dark ages where um, decoupage was still, you know, raining. Although it's made a comeback, I guess. All right, so um, why was I pointing out the Cricut? I don't even remember. Oh, whatever. Squirrel. Um, oh, she makes flowers with the Cricut and they're beautiful. They look like Sola flowers, which are these wood flowers that are beautiful, high end, beautiful flowers to work with. But hers are just as nice and they're made out of paper and she charges a goodly price for it. So, all right, I put this here and then moved it over and now I have this blank spot in the center. So I want to use this again, my, one of my background options, this, com this big sheet, this is our 18 by 18. It comes with flowers wood stars flowers wood stars and polka dots polka dots will be cool for um for uh the summer i have some ideas for that to use okay so here's my fuzzing cloth you can tell that i'm a little bit disorganized now because i usually i wing it and yet i don't um so I'm just kind of like a little like, huh, well, what should we do next? <laughs> I actually went live last night at, um, mid at 1130 Eastern time, and I didn't think anybody was going to show up, but they did. But I've challenged myself to go live 30 days in a row, and I would be, I was determined to make sure. Okay, so these are going this way. I want to make sure I do them in the right direction. Um... I want to make sure that, uh, I can't even like speak today. I don't even know. I wanted to make sure that I squeezed in a, okay, so that's where I want. I'm lining this up and I can see, let me lift this up. I can see through the transfer that there's no yellow showing up in here. So I know that if I spread my paste here, I know I'm going to get stars where I want them to be. All right, so. So there's that, and I need my yellow. I took care of all of my paste this morning. That made me so happy. I'm watching through the Mary Tyler Moore show, which is like the best show on television ever. One of them, top 10 in my opinion. Okay, so here's my yellow. <clears throat> and I'm just going to work down the center where I see. I can even put some more here wherever I see that there are no stars. Um, but I don't want to overdo it with the stars. I'm the queen of over embellishing. I, I just, it's the Brooklyn in me. It's the eighties Brooklyn in me, eighties Brooklyn, high hair. I was it. Hi, Donna. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that. 
<clears throat> okay, so oh, I don't need that here. I need my bucket of squeegees. People laugh at my bucket of squeegees, but to have this many squeegees is awesome because all you do is you use a squeegee and you throw it in the water. <laughs> and then when you need another one, you just reach in there and take another one and you don't have to worry about washing them off. So yes, I like a lot of squeegees and I cannot lie. Okay, so here's my yellow and I'm just gonna kind of work down the center here. <clears throat> and I'm trying to keep where I see that there are no little stars. And technically, are these stars? Mm, they're more like plus signs, but when I did this, I thought, wow, they look like little stars glittering in the sky. And so, because I thought that, I thought, oh, this is, will work really well with the transfer that I'm gonna use. I'm actually combining two transfers, maybe even three if you count the background. Okay, where's my lid goes here. All right, I'm gonna peel this off and see what we got. I can't see it. How'd it work? Ah, it works lovely. Look at the stars. That's what they look like. Beautiful stars in the sky. We're going to pretend it's nighttime. All right, I'm just putting my transfer in the water I have over here. And, all right. I wonder if maybe the light is glaring too much. Let me see if I turn the light off. Oops. All right, I turn that off and we'll see if you can see the stars better. All right, I'm just gonna cover this up. Now, so I have the background transfer. That's an 18 by 18 and that's 29 bucks. I can talk about money here because I'm on my business page. All right, now, I am going to use a transfer that has trees and animals and I realize that this transfer is no longer available. But there are other transfers that you can use that are kind of comparable, not the woodland creatures because the woodland creatures probably, they won't have another one like this out until fall. Um, but the trees and stuff you can find on other transfers and use those. Rhonda, oh, thank you so much for stopping by. Are you, um, okay, so whoever is here, if you are a chalk couture designer, type in one and then I'll know that you're a designer. Okay, and, and I welcome designers. Anybody can come here. It really doesn't matter to me. But then I know who is who is um, not familiar with Chalk Couture. And if you are all familiar, then I don't have to explain it so much when I'm going through my motions here. Okay, so I have some trees that I'm going to put. That's drying. And these are all from that one transfer. And I do apologize. I try to only use transfers that we have, um, transfers that we have available. All right, so... I'm gonna put this guy here. And in my mind's eye, this works. <laughs> in my mind's eye, this works. Whether it comes to fruition remains to be seen. All right, so I have to move my board up some. All right, so I have a tree here and here's another tree. Then I'm gonna put up a little higher just to give like kind of depth. <clears throat> I'm also going to be using the um, parts of the blessed are those, what does it say? Blessed are, <clears throat> blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures. And I'm also using pieces from you are our greatest adventure. So those are the two transfers that you can buy. They're B size transfers. They're 15 bucks. They're like nothing. Anybody purchases from me? Look, I have all these CC designers. I'm so happy. Yay. Um, anybody buys uh, transfers from me? If you're watching this on the replay, let me know. If you are watching this on YouTube and something interests you, let me know. Because if you buy a transfer, I will. Um, I have a special deal in my VIP group on pastes where you don't have to buy full jars of paste. I have the paste singles. And I bundle a couple of colors together for you so that you don't need to invest in... The paste, the paste is only $13. You know, the blacks, the black and white paste really kind of are universal. And so, um, and so, you know, to buy, buying that, you're going to use a lot of them. But to, if you just want to dabble with colors, then I have these. And I bundle different colors together so that you can have a variety of colors to make real, a couple of really cool 
um, projects. And these are not samples. This is a full paste in here is enough to do an eight, uh, one of our B transfers. I've done it on, on the air. I've done it live to show how much is in there. So if you're making a purchase from me via uh, the rewatch or YouTube or whatever, reach out to me and I will put together a bundle of colors for you. Okay, so I have green. I have one, two, three. I think I have four and a half greens, I guess. So these are like our bright greens, right? Okay, this is Garden Herb. This is Green Envy, Parakeet. Emerald and Garden Herb. And we also have, um, this is Eucalyptus, which is as of late, one of my favorite colors right up there with the Raspberry Sorbet. But I'm not, I, I think I'm just gonna use that like for little accents maybe, we'll have to see. I'm um, just gonna grab this in order. This is one color green and then another color green. All right, here we go, we're going. All right, now, because I just took care of my, my paste, they're all a good consistency, but you will see that there's a little bit of um, like a layer of water on top. When you use a jar of paste, and I learned this from the amazing Ken Hess. If you guys, girls, have not watched Ken Hess, go find him. He is amazing. He is one of the best designers that I've ever seen. And I've watched a lot of designers. And Ken and his partner, Sean, are amazing. They do not just talk a tour. They do a lot of stuff. And so even though technically I shouldn't be sending people to another designer's website, Ken Hess is worth going to watch for inspiration. He said, in order to avoid the buildup around the side of the jars that we have, scrape them down after every use and then just use a spray bottle, two squirts of distilled water and cover it right away. And that helps to alleviate all that cruddy buildup on the side. So whenever I open them, if I'm taking care of them properly, there is a little layer of water on there. And I just need to just give it a little bit of a stir. It's a yogurt-like consistency. That's what it's supposed to look like, like cake batter. But we do get our um, buildup on the sides because we scrape things down. And somebody did tell me about using a rubber band. And I realized that I had the rubber bands in there. And since I'm not on a time crunch, I might pull one out later to see how that works. All right. These are our little stir sticks. They say that they're disposable. I never throw them away. I just throw them in the water and I wash them and I use them again and again. So I'm gonna give this a quick stir and I'm gonna use two colors on the trees just to give it a little bit of depth. I didn't wanna use my bare trees cause that uh, looked more like, that looked more like wintery fall and winter to me with just the branches. And so I'm going to use this. All right, so I'm gonna take a small squeegee and um, a cut squeegee and a mini squeegee. This is our small squeegee. Okay, so. Yes, it does do the trick. I'm so, I was so excited to learn that. I really was. All right, so I'm putting some paste on here and I want some mostly on the corner because I don't want to put lines because when you put lines on your transfer, you, it, it shows. So putting dots just makes it work a, oh, oops, makes it work a little bit, I don't know, a little bit nicer in my opinion. And I'm going to take the parakeet this one does have a couple of lumps in it because I <clears throat> I left I left a couple of them open while I was working the other day. And so I did end up with lumps, but I work through the lumps. I don't oh no 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 no. Ah. Didn't even see that coming, huh? I want to do this. All right. Um I work through the lumps. I even have one color that I love so much, but I didn't really use a lot of it since the fall. And when I opened it up, it was like lump heaven. I put it through a tiny little strainer, a little sieve that I have, and I worked out all of the little lumps. And now I can use my orange really nicely. Okay, so let's see how this works. There, see, it just gives it a tiny bit of texture. Nothing big. Never pull your transfers from the sides. Always pull them from the center or the side, never pull it from the corner. The transfers are actually a fabric. And if you pull them from the corner, you can stretch them. And once the transfer is stretched, you can't get it to go back. And you um, will often have the problem of, uh, what is that called? Bleeding through there. So, okay, so that's two trees down. Before I put other trees, I want to put over here, cause I know what I'm gonna put over here and I wanna make sure that it fits. From the You Are Our Greatest Adventure is 
the little tent. So I'm going to put the little tent over here because I think that the tent is going to work nicely with the trees and the wild animals. I would love to have a little head sticking out of there. How cute would that be? We haven't really done a lot of people with chalk couture. And so, um, and so I wonder if they'd ever get to little people. And you probably can't get their faces in, but you can do silhouettes. I guess occasionally there's a silhouette. So here I'm using Storm and I'm going to use Green Envy. Yes, Green Envy. All right, and what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I have, where'd it go? Oh, I put it over here. One second. Oh, I, I put it right out of my reach. What can I use? Um, I think I'm just gonna use this. I can use this, this will work fine. Okay. <clears throat> I had a little jar and the little jar is out of my reach and rather than waste time, I'm just gonna use a piece of the paper plate that I had. Sitting here from my lunch. What is she doing with the paper plate? I'm going to make my own color because I don't want this to be green and I don't want it to be gray. I want it to be like a green gray. So I'm taking these two colors. I tend to not work on my surfaces because, um, well, I, I can drip things. I'm not exactly the neatest. I'm not exactly the neatest uh, worker here. Okay, so I put a little bit of storm and then... <clears throat> Oops. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put a little bit of the green in here because I want to make it look just a little bit different than the trees and all I'm doing is mixing this up. I want it to look a little different than the trees but the tents that my husband and I have used over the years they're not green they're not gray you know they're kind of like this in between color and I thought, let me just, let me just mix this up. I'm putting a little gray. I think I'm off screen at the moment. So I'm just putting a little bit more gray on there to see, to gray it up a little bit, huh? <clears throat> just gonna mix this up a little bit more. It's a really fun thing about Chalk Couture. If you need a color and we don't have the exact color, well then make it. Just make it. Yeah, this is looking more like that canvasy kind of green is what I'm looking for. So what's the weather like where everybody is? It was rainy yesterday. Today it's so windy and chilly for the end of April. My insane husband was camping last night in torrential rain. It was <laughs> crazy. He is a scout master in our town. And so the Boy Scouts go camping no matter what. All right, so I'm just gonna use this color now. And you use so little of it, so I probably am going to have leftover. Some people would just throw the leftover away. I don't always do that unless it's unless it's a color that can't be mixed with something else. But for the most part, I would probably put, if I had enough, I would just put this back into the green that resembled this the most. And if you stir it up real quick, it kind of... It works out if you don't do it too often. You're not really altering the color of your original paste that much. Okay. Let's peel this off. Oh, look how freaking cute. So we have a little tent in the woods. And see how it's just enough of a different color? It's just different enough. I love it. All right, I'm going to move this excess paste. There's not enough for me to scrape on there and save. And just move this out of the way. All right. So this is all drying nicely. I wonder if it might have been better for me to use the hot mess method with these little trees. Breezy and colder. Yeah, yeah. Spring so desperately wants to get here, but April is having um, none of it. The weather is having none of it. All right, I'm just going to move my little stir sticks to the, oops, I stuck my finger in it. Oops. All right, so where am I? Okay, so I want to put, I want to put some animals in there, but I also want to put more trees. All right, 
I'm going to take the trees, I'm going to put them in the water over here. And while that's working over here, I can do the next step. That works for me. I literally almost just dropped an entire bucket of water onto the floor. <laughs> that would have been great. And I'm just using just regular tap water in a tub. I use the Chalkator uh, board erasers that go right into the water and allow you to clean off your transfers quick and super easy. And it cleans them really nice. You can use magic erasers as well. Ours are a tiny bit less than buying magic erasers and they are not as harsh as a magic eraser. So if you're gonna go and use the magic eraser instead of the Chalkator board erasers, just keep that in mind that the magic erasers are made to remove adhesives and uh, stickers and, and uh, deep grime and our board erasers are not. So if you go ahead and use the board eraser, it's not going to damage your transfers in the way a magic eraser might indeed be able to do. This is what our magic eraser looks like. And I'm just swiping off some excess water. I have to make sure that my transfers, oops, are 100% dry before I try to use them again because the paste is water soluble. Wow. Okay, so these are gonna dry. They're water soluble, so if I had a damp, hi Kat, thank you for stopping by. If I had a damp transfer and put it on there, it would just make a hot mess. Okay, so I wanna put some animals, and these are the animals that I have. And don't fall in love with the animals because you can't buy them, <laughs> because this is the set that I'm using that, uh, that absolutely we are, do not have available anymore. And I'm sorry for that. But I thought how cute and scary would it be to be camping and see a baby brown, a, ba a brown bear, can you imagine a grizzly bear? Oh my gosh, no. We are outdoors people. Hi Scarlett, I so appreciate you stopping by here. We are outdoors people. I love being in the outdoors, but I am terrified of bears. We moved up here from Brooklyn, New York, and I could take the subway in the middle of the night and it wouldn't bother me. But when there are bears trying to get into my garbage, that's terrifying to me. And so people are like, you're from New York City. How could you be afraid of bears? I'm like, because, because basically muggers don't try to eat you. <laughs> and they tell me that black bears are friendly, not friendly, but they, they don't attack the way grizzly bears do and I'm like mm, it's a 700 pound animal it, it can do whatever the heck it wants so my husband again being the outdoors guy he tells me what to do if I run into a bear I was like dude if I run into a bear I'm gonna be passed out exactly on the floor there will be no there will be no recovery from that well the um, brown um, these bears that we have around here they're not man eaters they're, they don't attack for food um for the most part they are very passive they are not uh grizzly bears they're just um oh, what the heck is the name they're just a black bear sometimes they're brown in color but they are incredibly passive they they're not aggressive if you see a black bear in this area when you see the black bear make a lot of noise that's what my husband said i'm like that's not gonna work this i think might be a little too light Hmm, let me just look on the back and see. That is a little too light. Oh, no, a little too dark. All right, so here's what I'm going to do with this. This is a, a perfect example of a color that we sell. Sell. They got mixed with another color and totally changed it. This is what this is supposed to look like. But um, white got mixed into here some for some reason. I don't even remember what the circumstances were but white got mixed into there and I ended up with this super, super light brown, which is, um, which is a nice color for the most part. Um, I, I generally would not use my entire jar of paste to create a new color. Um, boy, I wish I remember the circumstances around that. 
All right, I have some white. I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter because I want it to stand out against the wood. Uh, we have a bear near our our land that'll that will attack. Oh yes, that that's true. If there are babies, if if you see a baby bear, just get the heck away from there because the mama bear is not far away, and the mama bear will be incredibly aggressive if they feel that their babies are in any danger whatsoever. All right, I'm just mixing this up. I don't know if you can see me on the, on the camera there. I'm just mixing this up some. And this is just the cap of my brown. Um, yeah, Mama's, mama bears and baby bears. But for the most part, the bears that we run into, and I have run into them in the woods where we are. We do live in the middle of the you know country. And um, <clears throat> you just have to make a lot of noise. Now, if you run into a grizzly bear, you don't make eye contact and you step backwards and you pretty much, if that bear is going to get you, that bear is going to get you. And that's what's so scary to me, but there are no grizzly bears around here. So oh. <laughs> that's when you have to fall on the ground and put your hands on your neck so that when it grabs you by the neck, you have a little bit of protection there with your hand. I don't, I don't know how much protection that would be. Again, terrifying. And I joke and I say that um, bears are like land sharks. <laughs> My husband's like, what is that? Because land, because sharks are terrifying in the ocean, bears to me are terrifying on the land. So this is as light I want as I want to go. I just want to make sure that it's going to show up a lot better than that darker color. Um, bears are sharks of the woods. That's what I have to say. And he's like, you're crazy. And I'm like, a little bit. But you were the one that moved me to the woods in the first place. So, my insanity is not new to my husband. <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks so good. So, so good. I love the color. The color works perfecto. So, I need a little bit more for the big bear here. I often make too much paste because I forget how little, how far the paste goes. But this is going to be good because I can use this excess um, on another animal should I choose to put another animal into my little scene here. Now one of the things you want to do when you're dealing with a transfer that's very open and this bear was pretty open, the silk screen area. You want to try not to leave lines in the middle of the transfer because when you peel that off, it's going to leave that behind. So let's see if I remove the lines well enough. Oh, there you go, baby bear, mama bear. How cute is this? I can't believe that we can't get the bears anymore. They're so, so adorable. Okay, so now this is dry. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of buildup of pastes here. Okay, I need this to go in the brown and this is the white. Oops. Okay, move this over here. This is brown. Move this over here. Try to keep it all in order. Wah, wah, wah. I knew this was going to be a longer, <clears throat> a longer uh, live because I'm just kind of like chilling. I have nothing else to do today. So I can sit here all the live long day. Anybody who stops by <laughs> is welcome to do so. Okay, so now are these, are they the same size? What do you think? I can't tell. This one is slightly smaller. All right, so I want to put the slightly smaller one here just to keep it symmetrical. Like it matters in the woods, but whatever. <laughs> I'm like the uh, the neurotic chalker. I really should change the name of my chalk place from City Chick Chalk to the Neurotic Chalker. Is that straight? I try not to be neurotic. I try to leave the mistakes that I make. Um, I try to leave them so that people know. Like nobody is a perfect chalker here. And um, how far is that? It's kind of like over here. Mm, no. Mm, maybe here? Does that work, people? What do you think? I think that one's working good. I do have other things to put on there. 
So I think that's good. And I'm going to do the same thing, same little process, put some dots of this darker green. Now I wonder, do I keep consistent or do I do a hot mess on here? Hmm. I think I'm going to keep consistent. I don't want to mess with it too much. I did put a little bit more on here than I did on the other ones. Now the hot mess the hot mess method is simply using your finger to um, to mix up the colors before you squeegee it. And I've done that on larger transfers, like the, the old rooster that we used to have. Um, oops, I got a little bit of green there, so I'm going to have to finish fix that. <clears throat> I have to be a little bit more attentive. This wood is not as washable as um, my lovely chocolate surfaces, but um, I should be able to get that little bit off. There's a little bubble here. That is not good. When you have a bubble, you have the chance of the paste um, squeezing under the bubble area and making like a nasty bleedy looking color and you want to kind of avoid that all right so let's see where we are nice another tree and we have la, 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 another tree <gasps> i haven't gotten the peacock yet cat i'm dying to get the peacock i had to pick and choose um i ordered a bunch of things for mother's and father's day first and I have a giant show, and I say giant show at the end of May. Um, I was very fortunate enough to have somebody in my upline go to the mat, so to speak, with this particular company that I wanted to do. I wanted to have, be there as Chalkator, and I knew um, that it would be a big, big fair because I've been to this fair before. And I was like, they're going to have a Chalkator person there, of course. They didn't. But I was not skilled enough to negotiate um, what they needed, negotiate what we needed negotiated. And so somebody in my upline did that. And I am going to be in the Country Living Fair in Rhinebeck. What? That's crazy to me. Crazy town, crazy town. I'm not going to wash this one off. I think that I can use it again. I'm going to put this here a little higher. Um, go as high as I can without it being on a star okay um yeah so it's three days thursday uh, friday saturday sunday and twenty thousand people what that's crazy town and so oops see i didn't want to do the lines but i ended up doing that anyway uh, let's see if i can fix it all right i think i i think i was talking too much <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows that that is not a shock. <laughs> so this tree looks a little different. That's all right. It's nature. It's nature. It should not be perfect. All righty. And let's see where we are with that one. Nice. Nice. Cool. All right. I think we're good on the trees. What do you think? Do you think we need another one over here to make it even? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe we could put a smaller one up here. I don't know if it will fit, but I'm willing to try. I am willing to try. I did in one of the smaller home shows. I've done a lot of shows. I've done about 10 of them. Um, the ones around the holidays were super, super successful. I think that I really just got... Um, I was very, very spoiled by my first experience um, with shows. I'm trying to move this as far up as I can without it being in, without having a star on it. I don't know if that's necessary. I think that's going to like, I don't like it. I'm not going to do it. I'll put an animal there instead. I'm the queen of over embellishing. Like I said, it's the Brooklyn in me. It's how I roll. If I could put blingy lights on stuff, I would. Yet I also like a clean white design too. So it'll be interesting to see where my um, where my house ends up 
when I uh, start working on it. It'll be very interesting to see. We bought a tiny little house in the woods. When I went looking for a home, my husband was working and he said, find me a house that I could heat with a candle. Okay, so I have that that I need to clear off there. Let's see if I can use this. It's almost off, right? Okay, uh, heat with a candle. So we have a tiny little house. I don't know how me and my husband and my four kids. Yes, don't make it too busy, cat. That's my problem. Like I said, can I put lights on it? <laughs> can I put a necklace on the bear? <laughs> I really am secretly 12. I'm a very mature 12 year old. Uh, what was I going to do? I want to do another animal or two, but I want to do small ones. I don't think that the moose is going to work, but I think that the squirrel will work. Is it too big, the squirrel? Maybe. Maybe I'm going to put an owl. I'll put an owl over here. Kind of, sort of, on the tree. Is it silly to make it look like it's sitting on the tree? When clearly it's too big? Let's pretend that's a tiny tree. And let's pretend that Donna doesn't need everything to be matchy-matchy. So, I think that the we're going to stick with the owl at the moment. And the owl I'm going to do in gray. Because I did an owl in gray and it looked kind of cool. And this is almost like a silhouette of an owl. I'm gonna move this up so people can see the rest of the board. So I'm gonna take a mini cut squeegee. The squeegee's cut very nicely and you can get the exact size that you need simply by cutting it or by using the multi-tool. I haven't pulled the multi-tool out yet. I usually save that, save the multi-tool for very fine design. And this owl does not happen to have any detail. So I don't think that I need it. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we have an owl sitting on a tree. Let's see, let's see. I'm looking at that. I have words to put up there. Um, like I said, I don't really want to use these other trees because they are pale trees. They are um, pale trees. Oh, look what I found. <gasps> I'm so happy right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I found a small tree. Ba, ba. The woods are simple. They are. They are, they are. And so I'm going to put a small tree here. Maybe, maybe here. Maybe not. I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to see what I think. I, <clears throat> anything that I do in the house, any color that I choose, any anything. My husband's like, if that's a color that you love, now jump two in the opposite direction. And that's the color we should get. <laughs> he's funny that way. Oh, he's a card. My husband and I celebrated 30 years, three zero. How is that even freaking possible? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just getting a little cruddy on here. 30 years this past February, we have been together 35 years. We are one of those, um, the high school sweetheart kind of thing. Um, we met in high school. We started dating in high school. And um, we just have always been together. He is amazing. He's one of those, one of those guys you wish you could clone. It's kind of annoying sometimes because I am not one of those human beings that um, <laughs> I'm so far from perfect. It's like I'm having a party on top of imperfect. And people are like, your husband can't be that perfect. It's like, you know, it's annoying how like he's always right. It, it, it's so it's so bothersome <laughs> in a good way. He's just one of those good men. I love him to death. I don't know what I would do without him. Okay, another tree. I like modern and vintage and hubby likes vintage only. Yeah, my husband doesn't like white and I love the clean, crisp feeling of shabby chic, of, of um, farmhouse, you know. Uh, I love everything and anything that um, Joanna Gaines even like, you know, walks past and um, it's not his favorite. Then again, he would put cherry wood 
<laughs> all through our house. I was like, well, we can't have that either, honey. I can't feel like I'm living in an old English man's um, study. We agree on there must be copious amounts of bookshelves because we we have so many books. It's crazy. He's an avid reader of outdoors things. He's not a big fiction reader. Neither am I. I usually stick to um, self-help books. Did I say that out loud? One more over here. And then I'm, and then I'm going to be done. I'm not going to be guilty of over embellishing. I just don't want it to be on his head. Do I need one more? No, I know what I'm going to put there. Ah, I know what I'm going to put there. Okay, we're good. Oh, see, I need people to talk to me and say, step away, step away. You're doing too much. I have this that I'm going to put there. This is going to be cool. Oh, but I didn't pull out the right color. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pick out the right color. Even though it kind of looks like a seagull, I'm going to put a bird here. And I'm going to do it in blue. He can be like a little blue bird. Ah, that's a perfect paste. I took a goodly amount of care. This is the multi-tool. Again, for people who are not designers, people who might be stopping by here on the replay or um, on my YouTube, the multi-tool has a little squeegee end on this end. It has a hook on the other end that scoops under and helps you to stir your paste really, really thoroughly. Um, you don't want to waste any of your paste. But then to do a small project like this, it's just like the perfect little tool. And I've done other transfers, whoops, it dripped, that have um, detail. And I like to be fancy and use different colors in the detail using the paste and peel method. I did that with my Easter sign and my Easter baskets. I've done that. I've used the tool to give eyes to things to, yeah, so it's a nice little tool. I think I only need one bird. What do you think? Do I need another bird? I love the look of white wood. Like that white wood look, I, I would have it everywhere. So we bought this house and um, it's a cute little house. It's got only five rooms and a partially finished basement. With That's where my boys lived and grew up in the partially finished basement because we were too busy um, paying for school Paying for survival of our children, because when you have a lot of kids all at once, nobody points out that you're having the, all of these kids. We had four kids in seven years. Nobody points out that they're all going to graduate high school, all going to go to college, and all going to get married like at the same time in the space of like however many years. So when we thought that we would be like, you know, at the end of, of the financial burden of having a thousand children, it's a lie. We have not yet gone on vacation. Um, we have one kid left in college, but we had two weddings. One was in California, uh, four kids through college, two will graduate, two, two will graduate, two, wait, Megan and Zach, Megan graduated, she's married. Then Ryan hated school, got married, but he's doing very well. He, he figured out how to make a good life for himself without having to go to college. Then my boy, Josh hated school um, and he moved back to New York City to find work. And so he's working in New York City so that he can uh, have his girlfriend move out there as well. And then my boy, Zach, is going out to Arizona to finish school. But imagine this summer, they are 21, 22, 25, 27. Yeah. Don't ask me about the 90s. I was either pregnant or nursing a baby. Okay, so. I need bright but love wood. Okay, so do we think... Do we think that we need other birds? Should I put other birds here? You, you so give me some feedback. We'll decide whether we need some other, like another one here and here. Because they're exactly the same, I'm not sure if I want more birds. And that's the only bird that I really have that I can think offhand that I have. So while people are looking, hi, Clarissa. Thank you, darling, for stopping by. I'm working on this really, really cute board. I put some rope around the edge of it. I'm very excited about this. This is fun. I'm moving this up so people can see the whole thing. So now I'm going to put my words. These words are from a different transfer. So the tent comes with the you are our greatest adventure. And it's got some other cute little pieces to it. 
but I didn't really want it to be specific to a person to it. That's really for a child. But this phrase I thought worked really nice with my scene here. I just want to try to center it. This says, blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures. Uh, I just need my area to dry out some so the husband and I can go out and have some great adventures. We hike and we bike. And if you were to meet me in real person, let's just say, what is that old phrase? I'm not made of nothing. She's not made of nothing. That's me. I'm a fluffy girl, but I am an active girl. So people look at me, they're like, you go bike riding? Yeah, I go bike riding. Me and my chubby self go bike riding and we hike five, six, seven miles if we need to. Um, yes, we do. <laughs> so um, we're going to be canoeing and kayaking and it's just who I am and how God made my body to be. I probably could lay off the donuts. I'm not going to lie. That probably would help some. On occasion, I do. I lose a little bit of weight. I gain a little bit. I lose a little bit. I gain a little bit. So if you would look at pictures of me and my mom and my grandma and my great grandma all in a row, we all look exactly the same. Sturdy German women. That's us. <laughs> so, so yes, we are outdoors people. I love as long as I'm not running into bears. <sighs> okay. I'm not as much of an outdoorsman as my husband or my boys. I mean, my kid, my boys are Eagle Scouts. So <laughs> they, um, they really, 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 they take love in the outdoors to a whole new level. Okay, so I'm going to put move this down. I know you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm actually going to turn it upside down so that I can have a really good look to make sure. See, that's totally cockamamie there. It is what we say in Yiddish. It is meshugana. Meshugana in Yiddish means all bunched up, crooked, cockeyed, all right? As opposed to shingats, which is the Yiddish word for made cheaply. Um, just something that is made poorly, that it's going to break really quick. So Yiddish 101. Can you tell that I was born and raised in Brooklyn in a Jewish Italian neighborhood? <laughs> All right, I'm going to use the eucalyptus. It's my new favorite color. Um, in the greens this season. I think that it's going to work really nicely. Can you garden? Oh, I wish that I could garden. I really, really do. The deer around here eat everything down to nubs. I have the brownest thumb. The only thing that I managed to keep as plants over the years are spider plants because I don't think that you can kill a spider plant. I think it just multiplies. My dream would be to have beautiful flowers, um, I would love to have an apiary. How cool would that be to raise bees and to save the honeybees? That would be so cool. Um, I would be the one that would trip and fall into the beehive and probably like, you know, die of multiple bee stings. That would be me. This color is going to work nice, I hope, on the brown because it's a lighter green. These were bright. If I had did the, done these all in that dark green, it wouldn't have looked as nice. And I think it's awesome that we made these colors. And so... But this color, I love, love this color. This is eucalyptus. I like the way it looks. Yeah. So my one son who's married, he got married in California last September. So we all schlepped, another Yiddish word, we all schlepped out to California for his wedding. It was fun and beautiful and amazing. He does this thing called LARPing, which is... Uh, an acronym for, I'm just trying to get rid of the lines there, for live action role play. So he dresses um, they, and act things from like middle ages slash kind of science fiction. He's one of those guys. Oh, look how cute that is. I am in love. I This, this is going in my living room. This is where this is going. <clears throat> my husband's like, you need to sell them. I don't, I can't sell all the ones that I make because they're, they're so nice and I love them. Why would I sell that? Did I get any feedback about the bulbs are easy? So they say I would try to, uh, nice quote for that. I didn't get any feedback on the birds. So I'm just going to leave the birds as is. Oh, hummingbirds. Okay. So you want to hear the craziest story about hummingbirds? I am from Brooklyn, New York. It's not like there are no hummingbirds in Brooklyn. It's just that I never really saw one up close. I saw them like stuffed at the museum. 
Um, we have squirrels and pigeons and crows and um, mean ass blue jays you'd see on occasion. But I was at a friend's house when I first moved up here. And they weren't even friends yet. They were, they were just like new friends that we were making. And um, apparently she had a hummingbird feeder. And apparently it buzzed near me. And I thought it was a giant ass bug. And I whacked it. And I knocked it like clear across the yard. It like fell. I thought I killed it. I just stunned it. It got up and it flew away. And I think it gave me a nasty look when I drove away. <laughs> so that was my experience with uh, bumblebees. I, that story cracks me up to this day. All right, people, what do we think? Does it need anything else? I think that it is looking good. I wish I had something to put down here in the corner to cover that up. If I had little pieces of wood, I might do it on all four. But again, I'm falling into the danger of, um, of over embellishment. That's, that's not good. I need to be careful with that. I'm thinking I want a little bit more glue in there just to fill the gap, just to make it look um, a little bit, a little bit less of a gap. I think that that's, that's helpful there. All right, because now it just looks like it's, that's where it ends. If I could have swung it around the back, I tried to see if I could push it around the back, but that didn't work either. And I also thought to, and I might do this on a separate one, I don't know. I have 30 of these boards, so I can do a lot with them. And I didn't do it on this one, but I thought, and again, give me your feedback. The first one was the day after my mom passed. Oh, you almost swatted it. I know these poor birds. They're like, what is, what is wrong with these humans? <laughs> Are you a city girl cat? <clears throat> I thought to maybe put another layer of the rope, not on this one, but just in general. And also if I have um, the nautical, the, uh, what is that? The, um, the anchor, I thought how cool that might look if I put this around again to build it up and it looks kind of nautical. I thought that would be a good idea. But at the moment, oh, look, I put it right on the glue. What is stunad? Uh, stunad is not uh, Yiddish. Stunad is Italian. It means dumb head. <laughs> so, come here and you can learn just a little bit of different languages, okay? <laughs> All right. I'm done with this. Um, I'm going to probably create more later. Don't feel compelled to come over, but if you pass by, say hello. Um, like I said, I have all the rest of today, all into the night, and um, my husband will be back until tomorrow morning. So who knows what's going to happen here. I'm going to take a cool picture. I'm going to lean this up, and I'm going to turn the camera to see it. All right. I make sure I'm going in the right direction. Is it the right direction? It is. It is. And that's how I'm going to end this. You're in the burbs. Oh. I would move to the Burbs in a Manhattan minute if I could move to Long Island to be my sister and my nieces, I would go. And my husband would rather die a cold, hard death eaten by those bears <laughs> rather than move back to the city. He crosses into New York City and he becomes a yellow cab driver. It's insane. I'm in the fetal position begging not to die. So what do you think, people? All right, if you like what you see, give me some thumbs up. Give me some hearts. If you are passing by and you want to be in my VIP group to get information on more products at a discount, then just put add me. If you're interested in this as from a business, just put more info and I will be glad to get that information to you. You all have a great day and I'll catch you later. Happy crafting.